In a previous piece of content, we discussed a study wherein the researchers show some less than favorable effects on the heart from consuming a ketogenic diet. In this content, I'd like to expand on that study by looking at how the ketogenic diet and more specifically ketones affect mitochondria within the heart. Let's dig in. Learn your body, a science-based education. The study, my more detailed notes, and any minor amendments can be found attached to this content, so feel free to check it out for yourself. That said, the researchers had shown some worrying results in regard to the state of elevated ketosis in regard to heart cell death and heart fibrosis. This was shown in animal models, human cell models, and associated with patients undergoing heart transplants. Here, the same researchers look at a different measure, mitochondria. Mitochondria, beyond their well-known function as the powerhouse of the cell, are also responsible for other functions. But even if we focus on its role in generating energy for the cell, this provides enough basis of interest. So the question is, how does the ketone produced from the ketogenic diet, as well as certain other nutrition styles, affect mitochondria in heart cells? To probe this question, the researchers plated human heart cells, as well as animal heart cells on a dish, and exposed them to increasing concentrations of beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is one of the ketones produced by the liver when consuming a heavy ketogenic diet, for example. Then, they measured the amount of mitochondrial DNA relative to the amount of nuclear DNA. This is a proxy measure of mitochondria, as having more mitochondria would imply higher levels of mitochondrial DNA, or, in the opposite scenario, less mitochondrial DNA, implying potentially less mitochondria. In all cell types treated, increasing levels of ketones decreased mitochondrial DNA, implying a potential reduction in mitochondrial content. Unsatisfied, the researchers decided not only to measure by mitochondrial DNA, but also measure particular proteins that are used in mitochondrial biogenesis, meaning proteins involved in the production of new mitochondria. Interestingly, again, there was a reduction in all of these key proteins, with the exposure of the ketone in heart cells. Finally, they looked at patient hearts that were undergoing heart transplant by taking samples and testing the fibrotic, non-functional hearts and showed an association between fibrotic heart tissue and decreased mitochondrial content using the same mitochondrial DNA measure. All of this data then implies that exposure to more of the ketone beta-hydroxybutyrate leads to reductions in mitochondrial content and likely through decreased production of new mitochondria. As I mentioned in the last piece, this is not conclusive evidence and needs to be further investigated using more human data if possible, but it does raise eyebrows. I'll be curious what the new data offers, but for now, we'll leave it here. And I hope to have the pleasure to speak with you in the future. Cheers.